Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes. Trails of Cold Steel. We... It's, it's, it's been a little bit of time since I last played. And, uh, yeah, it should be probably fine. I mean, I, I know where we're at up to this point, but... I don't know where to go or what to do. Do we have some sort of mission objective at this point? Oh, cool. I can change party order and leaders. And I guess we'll just walk around and start talking to people. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. We're not quite ready to open for the day. Hehe, <laughs> please do stop by later, though. This cafe is pretty popular with Thor's students. If I do say so myself. All right, cool. So, this is the Trista radio station, or Radio Trista, as most just call it. This is where all of the magic happens. It's pretty exciting to see it up close like this. Is it? Is it? Trista radio station. Do I want to go in here? Trista radio station. I'm curious, but I'll have to come back when I've got more time. Oh, so I actually have, like, a, a thing I'm supposed to be doing. Well, that makes sense. I will just still randomly talk to people. Hello, small child. Oh, are you one of the new Thor students? My dad runs a store. He's got all sorts of things you might need for your studies. I hope you'll come visit us if you ever need anything. Seems like he's raised a capable little worker. Well, you go, girl. You go. Um. Button. Turbo button. That does something. Oh, I head to the military academy. Okay, so I do have a thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, that resets my camera. Do I know where the Thor's military thing is? Oh, what is this? It's my notebook. Ah, start brings me to this. Okay, cool. Alright, so the military academy is literally directly in front of us. Okay, well, let's go... Um Let's do that thing. Give me for a minute here. Didn't we have a... Oh, we do. I said, don't we have a run button too? We do. Whee! Hello. You're in green. So that's Thor's Military Academy. That's right in front of me. But the idea of attending such a prestigious school still feels like a dream. Just thinking about it, it's getting me all nervous again. Well, all right, kids and, and people. Whatever. Let's go. I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Cool. Thank you, Klaus. Yeah. I'm leaving everything in your hands while father is away. I feel like the voice acting slightly too loud. Understood, milady. Voice volume slightly too loud. I'll have to adjust that in just a moment. Yes, sir. What can oh, I do for you? Oh. Please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Sure. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Appreciate it. Oh. Thank you very much. Bye, old guy. I'm guessing he's a butler? <laughs> he certainly looks the part. No doubt. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. I suppose only time will tell. Maybe that's a little bit better. Alright, onward! But great justice or random cool school So thing. this is it. Yeah, that's it. Thor's Military Academy. Cool. Thor's Military Academy. I already said that, Reen. Try to keep up, buddy. F 
founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Dreykels, okay. Standing in the middle of the walkway, huh? All right. Or driveway. There's a lot of butlers I'm, I'm noticing. And I feel like we don't have a butler. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the academy. Okay. Much obliged. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I'd prefer to avoid standing out too much. Good luck. Uh, but, sir. This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Berea Hard. As you wish. I shall be departing then, sir. Goodbye, Berea Hard man. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. He's got a really long clarinet in there. That's what he's got. How'd he turn around? Wow, an Orbal limousine, and one of Reinford's fanciest models, too. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crusts send their children here. Was well, it bode well for us, or we're going to stand out like a sore thumb, which I assume means something. I don't know. Can't say I've had Welcome a lot of... to Thor's Military Academy. A lot of sore thumbs in my, my day. Hi, random people who are waiting for me to ambush. You're... let's see... yes, you're the last of them. Of course I am. That'd make you... Rain Schwarzer, right? That's me. Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Uh-huh. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Here you go. Take my giant floaty noodle. Thanks. We should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. What? What? His name is Chubby Boy. Like, really? Right. The entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. And then we have Petite Girl and Chubby Boy. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, anyway, that's fine. I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. Better than Chubby Boy over here. Glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. Well... I guess those two must be second years? That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? Well, that can't be good. You better hurry, boy. Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony to start, though. Or it already did start, <sighs> slacker. Here's to the start of a great two years. Or horrible two years. Sorry. Sorry. It's probably fine. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. By all means, speak your mind, Capitan. Speak your mind. Principal Van Dyck. Thor's yeah. Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykels, the very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Wait, 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 wait. are we getting some crossover with Final Fantasy Tactics, the War of the Lions? Because I feel like... I feel like uh, that's copyright infringement. I'm just saying. The next thing you know, we're going to be hearing about the Zodiac Brave story. Huh? Hmm? No? Okay. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. 
to prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Draco's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Yeah! Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. As it Yet should still be. the question yeah. remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? Really good human statue abilities, because then you're like made of rock and you make a good foundation versus being like the Sandman, which never mind. I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The foundation of the world, huh? Cool. <laughs> no pressure, right? What's up, man? <laughs> no kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. That's Elliot Craig. Craig. I'm man. Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. It means we're only allowed to eat meat. We are now carnivores. Most of the other students are wearing green. Vegetarians. Vegans. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Nope. Those get to eat whatever they want. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah. Just thinking to myself. Nah. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Nice. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. Are we class seven? Is that who we are? There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed. Dismissed. All right, let's get on with this. We got the some class murder designated death killing in our to do. guidebook. I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right, uh -oh. students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. You may. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking. Yep, literally just, yeah. That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. Oh, yeah? But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. Oh, okay. What? Oh. Did you mean an orientation exercise? Apparently not. Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Huh. Now, right this way, if you would. I, I feel like you're wearing your belt a little high. I mean, I could be wrong, but doesn't that usually go around your waist? You know, it's fine. It's probably fine. Um... Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. Also, she told you to follow her, so probably should do it. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I don't know. Let's go find I out. I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. This is gonna be some evil maniacal laughing. Oh, what's mm -hmm. this? The boy in the white uniform is not happy with us. Or at least he's confused like the rest of us. That is a large bell. Academy! The old schoolhouse. Oh. Really? We're going to get thrown into the rundown schoolhouse? But what is this place? Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> She seems thrilled. Oh, she was going to do some more humming. And she just... Oh, oh, mm -hmm. okay. What does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. Where are our weapons? 
This place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. It's all right, Elliot. We got now this. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. What, well, Elliot? I think Craig. this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. Let's go. Come on, guys. Stop speculating. Stop percolating. Start figuring out what we're actually doing. What what's going on over here? Are they in the top of a tree? Is that is that what the so? These are our new underclassmen, huh? The bandana bandana boy. Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. Okay. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? <laughs> you were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Okay. It's pretty aggressive. It's a, it's a little aggressive. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones, too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? That's awkward, okay. <laughs> did, did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. What? Is it the little girl? It well, is. look who finally made and it. Chubby boy. Nice work. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep. They're all bright eyed and ready to go. I'm so confused. So from here on out, we're going to have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Uh -huh. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. No, none of us do. Care to share? The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Not helping. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? Can, can we have our weapons back? I feel like weapons would be an important part of whatever it is that you guys are scheming. And planning, and... Yeah, this is not going to go well for us. Old school house, first floor. Ooh, we might actually get to do some gameplay instead of just storyline, which I'm I'm okay with the storyline. It is interesting. I'm very curious. But I'd like to actually kind of mix it up with some other stuff. It's Sarah Valestein. The name's Valestein. Sarah Valestein. Totally wrong. Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of class seven, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. That came off a little bit too aggressive, too, but you know, it's fine. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, <laughs> class seven? What, uh, us? This seems to be. I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy. Huh. And that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Yeah. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. Okay. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Of course you did, because why wouldn't you? Wha what do you... We now have a sixth class. Uh-huh. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. What? Sorry? Like, hmm. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? Does appear that way. I feel like there is a 6 somewhere and they're lying to us, but we'll, we'll see. This is weird. You're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? Surprise, suck it up, princess. <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. Oh, boy. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh... Um... Who are you again? <laughs> that is... All right, we'll let him say it. Machias Regnitz. 
Y nope. Machias Regnitz? Really? And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this! Ludicrous. Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Are, 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 you, are you talking about the, the, the nobles? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Is it just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? <laughs> and what's your problem? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Yeah, it does seem like if he's a commoner and this dude's a noble, I feel like their roles should be reversed as far as how they're outraged. But I have no idea what's going on. Is that so? A little bit so. It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord, do <laughs> share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Jusus Albarea? Jusus Alberea. Alberea. Jusus Alberea. I am not going to remember these Not things. that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. Oh. <gasps> he, he's from one of the four great houses. The son of Duke Alberea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. <laughs> Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. <sighs> yes. Do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. Stop whining. Children, listen. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. Fat penguin. It's an icebreaker. <sighs> You mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier. What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? Hmm. <sighs> Whoa, calm down, Reen. Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? I'm pretty sure a whole lot has gotten by me so far, but no, continue, please. Uh, why is she moonwalking? That's but not... I don't want to spoil the fun, oh, so God. let's get started, shall we? That's not how you walk backwards. I'm, I'm just gonna... What? Turn around? <gasps> oh, crap. What? Nope, never mind. Ah! Look at him sliding down. Ah! Look at him sliding down. Rain, you got this, but oh, 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 he jumped. Oh, she had a grappling hook somewhere. Come on, Fee. No cheating. You're going with them, and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? I, I'm assuming that. Hmm. <sighs> Lame. Pew! Okay. Well, this will be a thing. Ugh. What just happened? And no one's, like, seriously hurt? That does seem like it was a rather high fall. Broken the floor limbs. gave out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. I <laughs> fell for... Sorry. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds, then? Maybe. What does that woman think she's playing at? Parcheesy. I got nothing. Nice landing. <sighs> What's up, Elliot? Oh, I thought my heart was going to jump out of my chest. Hey, Reen, are you... Okay? Oh. Easy now. Hands where she can see them. Wow. Oh, what happened? Huh? 
You're you're laying on someone. <laughs> um. Well, this <laughs> is a bit awkward. All right. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I bet. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? Slap. <laughs> yep. Well, now that that's all over with. <clears throat> Welcome to Awkward Class, ladies and gentlemen. Also known as Class 7. Wow, it's just not your day, is it? Well, nope. now that I've hit the bottom, things can only improve. I hope. <laughs> if you only knew, sir. Ooh, there's all sorts of cool little weapons down here. Maybe. Or weird little boxes. They also look like weapons. All right, yeah, we'll say they're weapons. What is this place anyway? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. Oh, and phone. Huh? What's up, Elliot? Is this? Oh, no, it's everybody. Oh, okay. It's coming from the devices we received with the Academy Guidebook. It seems to be some sort of portable orbment. It does indeed. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle orbment. Okay. Is that Miss Valestine? It is. So these devices have built-in communications functionality then? Wait, don't tell me these things are... New model battle orbments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Reinford Company. Newly made fifth generation battle orbments, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Cool. Arcus. So these are battle orbments. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots and you can use arts all the live long day. Which sweet. is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. Double sweet. Oh, and the lights have come on. I'm assuming the little boxes are the quartz. Quartzes. The weapons you brought are all here too. Each package neatly along a little box containing a quartz. A quartz, okay. Find yours and try setting the quartz into your Arcus. Okay. Hmm. Well, I suppose it can hurt to try. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things that can hurt, whether you try it or not, girl. This is uh, a very odd way. What is this woman thinking? to get introduced into school, but hey, whatever. <sighs> no one seems to be seriously hurt, including Usus. No, let's, let's go see. to our purple noodle over mine there. Mine is... that one. Oh, I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? Yes, I know, the purple noodle. I, I paid attention. I am ready, let's go. Okay, so everybody is out and about, ready to play with their weapons and noodles and all sorts of other weird things. I think I'm going to break it off right here. It's a strange place to break off the episode. Didn't really get to do anything, to be 100% honest, but that's okay. The story's advanced. We are part of a special sixth class called Class 7 because logic. And, yeah, I don't I don't right. really know what's, what's going on 100%, but that's okay. Because we will figure it out as we continue. Alright folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>